welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I dyed my hair. It's dark now. Um, a lot of people wanted me to do this for ages and um, some of you liked the blonde. This is actually my natural hair color, pretty much. Um, I didn't actually want to go this dark, but it just came out that way. Anyway, I thought it would be suitable to film this Barbara Palvin tutorial as part of my Cam Film Festival makeup tutorials. And I had already filmed this when I had blonder hair, but she currently has darker hair. It's like a ready dark color, so the looks actually look better with this hair. So I refilmed it. Um, I'm currently on the aeroplane. Well, I should be on the aeroplane to London right now. If not, just landed in London. So all of these tutorials for the next month are going to be pre-filmed. So I hope you guys like this tutorial that I've filmed today. It's two makeup looks that Barbara Palvin wore on the red carpet um, at Cannes Film Festival. She's a L'Oreal Paris ambassador and I've chosen these two looks. A really funky orange eye makeup and then this sensual smoky eye. So this is a really nice bronze smoky eye using a palette from L'Oreal Paris and I'll show you this look first and then move on to the orange one. Don't forget to pay attention and let me know which is your favorite in the comments and let's get into the looks. I hope you enjoy. First I'm applying my foundation. I'm using the True Match foundation in N4 and I'm buffing that in with a duo fiber brush so it really works into the skin. I really like this one because it looks quite natural but it has good coverage. Might not be the best for the most oily skins but it's really nice foundation. And then as always for the brows I'm using the Superliner Brow Artist in Blonde and just flicking that through the brows really lightly. I really like this one because it doesn't just mask all your brow hairs like I can still see my brows through it. And then I'm using the wax end to mold and shape the hairs into position. And then I'm using the Color Riche Quad in Infinimate Bronze. I think I'm saying that right. Anyway, taking the lightest shade and putting it through the inner corner and then the center of the eyelid. This catches the light, creates a bit of dimension to the eyelid, like it will bring the center of my lids forward and my um, tear ducts. It'll make my eyes look a bit more sparkly. Then I'm taking a mid-tone brown and placing it around the um, either side of the lighter color. And I really like this effect. It's a cool way to do a smoky eye like Instead of just doing the brown all over the lid, try placing a lighter color in the center and it's really pretty. Um, and then I'm just using a brush to blend that and smudge it under the eye as well. And an even fluffier brush to soften out the edges, just so there's no harsh lines. And I did add a bit of product to this brush before doing that. And then I'm taking the Silkissime pencil in Brown Temptation and I'm using that um, sort of on the outer part of the eyelid and then on the tight line as I get toward the inner part and I'm also taking it in through the tear duct and on my lower water line. It's just a really good way to make it look quite a bit more intense without going too far because it's brown. And then I'm patting over the eyeliner on the outer edge of the eye just so that it intensifies that outer area, lifts it a little bit, makes it look more smoky, adds a bit more dimension, etc, etc and blending that in with a little flat eyeshadow brush. And then my favorite mascara, the butterfly wings on the top and bottom lashes. Really layer this on because it's a smoky eye look. So do quite a few layers, top and bottom as I said. And then for this awesome concealer, it's the True Match Tush Magique. And I'm using that under my eyes and I also did put it on my blemishes and I blended it in with a blending brush. Now the wings are a little bit uneven, so I'm just taking a bit more of the darker color, or the medium color, sorry, on that original eyeshadow brush, just to even it out a little bit. And now to add some extra coverage and mattify my skin a little bit, I'm taking the True Match Powder, so that's the matching powder to the foundation that I put on, and applying that with a big fluffy brush. This is a really good full, uh, like, flawless foundation routine. And now time for some of the Glam Bronze in Blonde Harmony. I'm using it as a kind of contour but sort of blending it out quite a bit. And then this is the perfect nude lipstick in my opinion. It's the Color Riche lipstick in number 235. Just swiping that on and it's nice and natural and perfect for this look. And then to add a bit of color to a neutral look, add Le Blush number 125 and you're done. And this is the second look. It's a bit crazy but I thought it'd be fun to recreate. Starting out with the True Match pen on my eyelids. 
So this sort of evens out skin tone on my eyelid and acts as a base. I didn't want to apply my foundation just yet because I want to make sure I can fix it up if it gets on my face a bit later. And then to get this orange colour I mixed two different um, orangey yellow shades from the Colour Riche Quads. Disco Smoking and Tropical Tutu. So I mixed them together and then just applied that with a flat shader brush. And for foundation, this is the Infallible Foundation, so it's a really full coverage and long wearing foundation. I quite like this one as well, this was the first time I tried it. And now doing my brows with the Brow Artist Pencil once again in blonde. Now I'm using my True Match Concealer Pen just to conceal pimples and also to sharpen up my brows because the pencil got a bit blunt so I'm using the brush to really sharpen that and get it nice and neat. Then I'm using this bronze shade from the Colour Riche Quad to blend under the eyes because in the photo it looks as if it's a bronze colour under there and I really like that look. This look is perfect for people with green or blue eyes. This is the Silkissime pencil. I'm just very carefully applying that to the outer corner of the eyelid and then a little bit to the tight line on the inner part of the eye and blend it out with a shader brush. Now I'm applying mascara again butterfly wings top and bottom lashes. Now I'm using the true match pen again just under the eyes to clean it up and highlight just blending it in with my finger this time. And then I'm using number 145 blush over the cheeks and then the clear crystal glam shine lip gloss is the perfect lip gloss for this just because it's gonna add some you know glossy texture without color so it won't detract from the eyes and this look is done and that's the finished look I hope you guys liked these two tutorials let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video bye